Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. First and foremost, let me play out a clip that I had shot on November 6th, where I recommended that I am started taking positions in a stock called as Meta. Unfortunately, that stock has crashed. So we are going to have a discussion around it today. But hear out my conclusion on this video. If that ends up happening, Facebook stock will become rocket. So I am holding this stock for at least the next 10 years and I will be aggregating this stock heavily over the next few months. Now, two, three very quick points. Now, first and foremost, it would have been very easy for me not to face the music right now where things are not going my way and just ignore not shooting the video at all. But I'm not doing that. I'm being transparent with you and honestly discussing whatever I'm going to do next. That's point one. Second, I always say that please watch my video till the very end. Please understand the entire logic argument. Even on the video that I had shot on November 6th, I had clearly said that I'll be taking more positions in this stock going forward. I had taken little bit of position, but with fall, I am buying even more of this stock and I'm going to explain it to you today in very easy five point explanation as to why am I doing that. Third and finally, this again is not an investment advice. Please act as per your understanding. Please act as per your own portfolio. I am just disclosing whatever I am doing and explaining you the rationale for the same. Right. So let us start the simple five point explanation. I will keep this video brief to the point. So point number one, why has the meta stock fallen? If you take a look at this particular snippet, the answer is very clear. So the reason for the fall is simple. That first time in 18 years, Facebook's daily average user have come down by half a million from the last quarter. This is one piece of the information but you need to aggregate this with the information again highlighted on this snippet that monthly active user across all Facebook's platform which includes Messenger, which includes WhatsApp and bunch of other things that Facebook or Meta as a company runs, it has gone up by 4%. But the problem that has happened is that social networking site Facebook has seen a decline in the daily average users. So that is the first key point that you must remember. The second key point that you must remember is that Facebook or Meta is unfortunately losing the social media game. Now, this is a snippet that captures the entire argument in a very precise manner. So there was a survey that was done and according to that, 22% of US teens chose Instagram, which, which is one of Facebook's subsidiary. And this falls behind Snapchat and TikTok. So teenagers in the US are choosing to use Snapchat and TikTok over Instagram. So that is the dynamics and unfortunately again and Facebook is losing the social media game right now. Now third comes the most interesting point and which ties back into my original video that I had done for Meta or Facebook as to the Meta business of Facebook. That is what I have been very bullish about. That is what my first video was entirely focused on. That is what the company is also focused on that Facebook. There is a reason why Facebook has changed its name and focus to Meta because Facebook is not focusing on the conventional social social media part as it has done in the past. Now they are pivoting their entire business model to Meta. That is what the entire part one of the video that I had made earlier was focused on. So now if you study the performance of this part of business for Facebook or Meta, you will understand that this part is actually growing. So this has been captured by this snippet. If you take a look that Facebook that Meta finally broke out its Reality Lab revenues. Reality Labs is the business that is building on the Metaverse narrative for Facebook and they are launching a series of products and hardwares associated with Metaverse. So if you read this paragraph, you will see that this segment's revenue doubled to $2.23 billion for the full year as it sold more Quest 2 headsets, but its losses also widened. Now, of course, this is a new business and we are betting on a new narrative. So of course, there is high level of risk involved here, but there is no need to press the panic button right now because this part of the business on which we are betting is doing fabulously well in terms of revenue growth and right now especially for, for the next two to three years this business is going to be unprofitable now you will say Akshar you are one of the advocates who keeps on saying that don't bet on companies that are not generating profits and you have advocated against investing in something like Paytm and Zomato but you are taking a completely different tune when it comes to meta the reason there is very simple that first and foremost, it's the technology potential. For example, if you are talking about metaverse, it's a series of integrated things that can come up. It's not just one single thing. So the potential of metaverse is much higher compared to one single app that is out there. That is point one. So this is not an apples to apples comparison. Second, there is need for research in this particular field. For example, I had made a video earlier on investing in some genomics based stocks. 
The reason again there was very simple that right now these type of genomics or gene editing based companies are going to generate losses because the nature of their work demands research oriented investments. To me, when I'm looking at metaverse or, or I'm looking at gene editing based investments, of course, these things would require substantial R&D spent right now. That's a related point. And third and the most important related point here that I would like to outline is that the companies, for example, Meta or related companies that are experimenting with the metaverse space, this is a high barrier to entry type of a business. It's not as if that tomorrow some local hyper network delivery will come and create its own metaverse and make it super successful. No, these are super high barrier to entry type of business. These are Google like businesses. Once a credible search engine had been established, it's very difficult to displace it. Similarly, the companies that are gaining a lot of traction in the metaverse space, they will build so high barriers to entry that other players will not be able to enter in and take their space. This brings me to the fourth point that in terms of investment opportunities, it is very important for us to understand the ecosystem of metaverses right now. There are predominantly two types of metaverses that are existing. One is a conventional metaverse and here you have companies like Facebook or Meta and Microsoft. Microsoft is trying to build an office based metaverse that they simply want to transform Zoom meetings or physically going to office into a metaverse world where people can come and work collaboratively. So this is what currently the focus for Microsoft is. Facebook on the other hand is trying to build a social metaverse. This is again very, very different and what gives power to a company like Facebook or Meta right now is the reach that the company has. For example, the company has access to roughly 40% of the population on earth, which is huge through applications like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. The reach is insane and all they have to simply do is that get all these people onto a social metaverse that it is creating. Will it be able to do it? I don't know. I can't guarantee that, but it is well poised to be doing that. Now, the second key ecosystem that you need to understand is the crypto slash blockchain type of metaverses. And here you have gaming metaverses that are gaining a lot of traction. For example, Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Sandbox. These are all applications. And so what I'm trying to tell you through this point is very simple. Right now, if you understand the landscape or ecosystem of different metaverses, all these different companies are trying to attract and cater to different audiences. Facebook is playing its own game and the game that it is playing right now, no one is even trying to play that game. So if this metaverse narrative picks up, there is absolutely no reason why something like Facebook will not do well. So this brings me to the final section of the video as to what I'll be doing from an investment point of view. So number one, will I be investing more money in Facebook or Meta right now? The answer is yes, I will be doing that. Will I be investing all my money? Absolutely no. I will wait and watch, but definitely I will invest another 10% of the money that I have to invest in Facebook right now. Number two, do I think that Facebook is going to do well subsequently in the future? The answer is yes, I'm quite bullish about it. But am I betting only on Facebook? No, I'm actually betting on the narrative called as metaverse within which I'm picking a data point called as meta. So let me clarify more on this point. For example, if let's say I have to invest 100 rupees in this metaverse narrative, I'm just going to invest 20 rupees on Facebook stock. That's it. So 20% of my metaverse money is going to Facebook. That is what I'm doing. Rest all the other things, for example, Axie Infinity, Decentraland, which is Mana Token, etc. I have already purchased it. So you need to think about it from a portfolio perspective. Now, why is it that I'm taking so differentiated positions? Why is it that I'm investing in five, six different companies in this metaverse narrative? The answer there is very simple that I just need one or two companies to succeed in this metaverse narrative. And if they do it, my one or two key investments in this space will become 100x, no doubt about that. Third and finally, I have spoken in the past about other stocks like Coinbase, Shopify, etc., which currently are not doing well. There are multiple reasons for the same that the US stock market itself has crashed very badly and we have picked the most volatile tech stocks that were out there. Please remember a simple point here that if you really think that something like Coinbase is not going to come up or something like Shopify is not going to come up, but you need to remember a simple fact that companies like Shopify, companies like Coinbase, companies like UiPath, they are all respective winners in their own niche spaces. All we need to be right about is that whether these spaces will grow or not. Whenever these spaces grow, these respective leaders within these spaces will grow with them. There is absolutely no doubt about that, that that will not happen. Before I conclude the video, let me give the final 
final message that whenever you are picking these tech stocks, there is going to be bumpy ride because you are investing in next gen tech. Now, the nature of tech itself will keep on changing. This does not mean that you should not have any exposure to this, but you should carefully pick your positions and at least keep two to three year window in mind. If you are in a haste to make money, then this is not the area where you should be investing. But yes, if you believe in the technology, if you understand that this journey is going to be bumpy, only then investing in these type of stocks will make sense. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.